Hi guys, this is Jade. Welcome to my video log. Today's topic is on MySpace. I'm sure a lot of MySpace users know exactly what I'm talking about when I say people spam their profiles. What I mean by spamming profiles is people like putting a lot of images, YouTube videos, quizzes, and flash objects. To make matters worse, MySpace also has the option of applications that you can add, and by default they're usually shown on your profile. Now, I'm here to say that that's an eyesore, and I have ways of making it less of an eyesore. If you like your profile large and, in my opinion, spammed out, you can keep it that way. However, if you want to cut it down a little, here's a few ways to do it. Your applications don't have to show up on your profile. Every single time you add an application, there's a little checkbox that is usually checked off by default, and it is shown my profile option. If you uncheck that, it won't go on your profile. You can still access the application, but it won't show up on your profile. As for your videos and flash applications and quizzes, by all means, put them on your blog or your bulletin. Bulletins aren't archived. They expire after 10 days. However, it's a great way to get attention specifically to that video. Same thing with your bulletin. Uh, if your friends keep you on updates, then they'll see that you've posted a new bulletin. I mean, blog. Excuse me. Each entry is dedicated to whatever you're posting on there. As for images, I suggest to everyone to cut back on using a lot. In fact, I think also you should be cautious of what images you're using. Just because there's on a website that is said to be free domain doesn't mean that the image is free domain. A lot of people use Photobucket. A lot of the images on Photobucket that have been used on MySpace are actually ripped art. They're illegal. They're copyrighted pieces of material that artists have, you know, slaved over. In a lot of cases to sell, only to find that it is on everyone's MySpace profile. And they don't get credit. You won't ever know that this artist did that. It's kind of rude to the artist, and if you're a nice person, let's avoid being mean that way. And like I said, just because they're on a website that is said to be free domain doesn't mean that it is. So let's be wary of what images we use, along with cutting back on how many images you use. Well, that's all the tips and tricks I really have for not making your MySpace so spammed out. If you have any other options, by all means, I suggest you make your own video, comment, whatever have you, because any help is good help, right? Well, anyway, here's Jade with the feature feature, and signing off. Bye!